Larian and Rudy are raising a family. This is how life should be. This is their story. Hey guys, good Saturday morning. Larje here with Rudy and Jaden. We are on the way to Jaden's dentist appointment and Jaden decided to sleep late this morning. So I'm totally blaming him on our tardiness. But whatever, I don't I don't really care. <laughs> we're like two, we're like three minutes away. We're supposed to be there at 9.30 and it's 9.26. So if you want to go all that late, what of them? So we are about to read the scripture of the day. It comes to us from Proverbs chapter 3, verses 11 and 12. My son, do not reject the discipline of the Lord or loathe his reproof. For whom the Lord loves, he reproves, even as a father corrects a son in whom he delights. Amen. I like that scripture. I can't remember why, but I used it, I think, a few months ago or something like that. Like, I, I don't know, it just came to mind. And it's very true. I think I read it to you guys actually something came up where I had to read it and yeah it's one of those those things that you got to keep in mind like whenever God disciplines you don't take it as you know oh, man why did this happen because sometimes we get a, a little slap on the wrist right um, and you know that it's from God because in my experience like whenever I was rude or like I said something, I talked back to my mother or something, as soon as I turned the corner, I bucked my toe. Like I'd stub my toe on, on the corner of the whatever. And it, it was like a slap in the face, you know? It was like, well, that's what I get for talking back. I mean, that might not necessarily be from God, but it was always a reminder just to, you know, have manas. So yeah, the day is, um, I'm not sure what's gonna be happening today. Besides the dentist appointment, and we have a surprise party to go to at seven o'clock. That's exciting. I know we have to go to Michael's to buy some yarn because I got an order on my store. Someone from Texas ordered two newborn hats, so I have to go buy the yarn to make them. I'm hungry, guys. Didn't eat any breakfast. <laughs> but let's see what this dentist says about Jaden's teeth. Uh, oh. uh oh. Oh, 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 oh. All right, guys. So we just got done with the whole dentist mm -hmm. thing. What happened? Look, they're so tasty, the yum yums. They sell those in yum yums. I don't man. want them. So, yeah, um, they don't take our insurance, and so we had to pay out of pocket. And the only reason why I agreed to do that is that we had the money, and I just didn't feel like, you know, it would have been a waste. You wake up at 8 something in the morning, then come to the dentist, and then you leave because they don't take your insurance. So I was just like, whatever, take my money. And they said that Jaden's teeth may be fused together, and that's probably why they grew together. The, just the bottom, bottom two. Yeah, the, the two that are crooked. The two that, the reason why we came here. And they said that the only problems that we might see are that they'll fall out together or that we'll have trouble flossing when he's older. But that's it, so he's fine. Alright guys, so we're at Duchess right now and I'm about to teach you guys how to make the perfect light and sweet coffee. We have a medium sized cup, you need one of those. And then we have some half and half. Make sure you have half and half and not milk. Alright? So, Rudy's gonna hold the camera and you show. Alright, so you're gonna put a lot of cream, obviously, because you want it light and sweet. That much. Probably like what, three ounces, right Rudy? That's what, three? Yeah, Probably. Okay, and then which coffee do you want, dear? French. Rudy wants French vanilla, so we do French vanilla. And it's supposed to have this nice color, just like this. Boom. All right, and he wants it sweet. So, because he wants it sweet, we're gonna put a lot of sugar. We're gonna use sugar packets, not that one, dear, because you can't really measure that. So, for a medium sized cup, you're gonna use about nine sugars, okay? And that should be a good starter. <laughs> Let's see if that's actually sweet enough. Just in case you're like, oh my gosh, Marian, that's a lot of sugars to open up. Guess what? Open up three at a time, okay? And it makes stuff go really fast. So then you're gonna stir that bad boy, just like that. Excellent stirring, Rudy. <laughs> How does it taste? 
Yeah, that's how you make a light and sweet coffee, large easily. Mmm, yumma. All right, guys. So our breakfast at Duchess was perfect. I have so many memories at that place. It's so funny. I worked there for three years, almost. It was my first job. And it's amazing how many customers that were regulars then are still regulars now. So the guys that sat behind me and Rudy, I they went to go get their food. And I said to Rudy, let me know if the guy got a hamburger and fries. And the, let me know if the skinny guy got a hamburger and fries. And if the older guy, the British guy, the older British guy got a bagel and fries. <laughs> And so the skinny guy came back and sure enough he got the big D cheese with fries and then when the British guy finally came back Rudy was like no he didn't get a bagel I was like let me look and I looked and it was a bagel <laughs> so funny I can't believe that you know seven years of getting the same thing like they they're that's kind of crazy yeah, but and I also told you that you know sometimes guys like what they like so yeah they don't, they don't really change it much that's crazy like when people used to walk through the door i would already have their order ready to go and i would just take their money larika and i were such bosses at that place but anyway we're gonna go to walmart right now Jaden is out of formula <sighs> this guy he's out of formula like all the formulas in the world our friend kelly gave us like five packs of formula months ago that's done and we've been using his Similac and stuff like that and that's done too so we gotta get more of them joints and then we gotta go to the gym and tell them to freeze our account because we don't go to the gym yeah, <laughs> and they're taking had... money from us yeah dear what were you saying no I'm saying that we didn't have we haven't had time to really go yeah so you know it's a waste of money it really is Okay guys, so I have a few things to tell you. Lisa and we're in Walmart, right? And so naturally the first thing that I see are clothes and because I'm gonna be Pop, pregnant. Lock and drop. Pop, lock and drop. We were supposed to do that later, Rudy. He's so annoying. I was just dancing. Anyway, so the first thing I saw was clothes and since I'm gonna be pregnant in the winter time, baby girl is not gonna be ba spending any money on maternity clothes because that is expensive. So I got me these two cardigans. Woo! <laughs> They're $15 each, guys, and they would have been like $25 each at Target. Can you not? Then we went to the baby section, right? And I was freaking out because I was like, oh my gosh, I could get. Watch out, dude. I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, we can get matching clothes for Jaden and his brother. So, after picking up some stuff, did you see that? <laughs> so after picking up some stuff for Jaden, we picked up like some winter clothes for him. I picked up these outfits. Look, look, Jaden and Baby T2 have their first matching outfits. I got zero to three months and 18 months for um, the tops and the bottoms. Ah, they're not the cutest things in the world, but this is their first matching outfit. And believe me, there's a lot more where that came from. And then these are the things that I got for Jaden. They're like winter stuff. Nothing serious, but they were like four bucks. So I picked up three. And then I also got him some pants because he needs them. Then we got him his bath stuff, we got him formula, and, and that's it. All right guys, so this is really depressing, okay? So first of all, they just got married like last year, right? They just had their like real wedding for their kids last year, they're getting a divorce. She apparently has a divorce from hell. And these two, didn't they just have a baby? Right, Rudy? Yeah. Yeah, and now they're getting a divorce. And then the original name fuser people, Benefer, they're back together. I mean, that's cool. But my goodness, like this is so, ah. Uh. Crap guys, we just got into a car accident and the police is right here. <laughs> no! Uh, I mean, we're okay, we're okay, but uh, I'm slightly embarrassed. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's what happened. Not that bad, but still, ugh. 
Hey guys, I came home from picking up Larian from her rehearsal for being, you know, praise team rehearsal and stuff like that. So I'm here, she needed some yarn to continue her projects and grabbing the vlog camera which I'm using right now. And yeah, so I just came to come say that, you know, like I, this week has been really, 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 really tough. Oh, well, for me at least. I don't know how it is for Larry. But you know, I'm just trying not to let things bring me down and I would say the same thing for you guys you know sometimes it's not just one bad day sometimes you might have like a week's worth of bad days <laughs> even though like a lot of times you guys saw me you know I was joking around in the morning and then something happened right after that uh, so I don't know what's trying to kill my happiness but I'm still here I'm still good I'm doing what I gotta do and you guys will see the in the next clip I'm gonna go get her right now all right guys, so I have a lot of updating to do. I haven't been here for a while. So I went to, Rudy and I went to Michael's and we bought a whole bunch of yarn. Oh, let me say me. I bought a whole bunch of yarn that I need. I promise, I need it. I have um, some scarves to make and then I'm gonna make matching hats so I can put some sets on my website. And then after that, I took a nap for an hour, went to praise team rehearsal for an hour and a half, came to mommy's house, and that's where we are now. Jaden is having a good time with his dad. -da. Hi, Jaden. Hi, Jaden. Whoa, careful. Yeah. And mommy gave me two of Larique's dresses because I do not want to spend any money on maternity clothes right now, okay? Unless I have to. So, I went to the Jamaican restaurant. I bought uh, curry goat and rice and peas, and it was banger. But it was too spicy. I don't know why they put so much pepper in the food. But the party's supposed to start in an hour, so Rudy and I are gonna get ready to go. Get ready, I gotta look cute. My eyebrows need to be done. I think I'll shave them or pluck them or something. And I have to figure out what I'm gonna wear. And that's it. All right, Jaden, we're gonna go. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. <laughs> Are you a piggy? Say oink oink. <laughs> no, not up. Oink oink. No? Okay. Next time on Larian and Rudy. Okay, Conrad is here. Conrad is here. Hope the love you have to give. This guy letting me sing in the BKO stuff, uh, we wouldn't be married. Oh, yeah, we wouldn't be here. I can't even take that.